I am Sandeep Lattakia from Asian Institute of Gastroenterology, Hyderabad. I am Jahangir Basha. Here we discuss our study titled Endoscopic Step Up Approach using dedicated biflash metal stent reduces the need for direct necrosectomy in world of necrosis, which was conducted at Asian Institute of Gastroenterology, Hyderabad, India. This study included 205 patients of world of necrosis who underwent EUS guided drainage using a Navi stent, which is a dedicated biflanged covered metal stent. We observed that 75% of the patients improved just with the index drainage procedure and in about one-fourth of the patients who were non-responders required additional endoscopic re-intervention which was tackled by adopting step-up approach. This led to an overall clinical improvement of 97% and direct endoscopic necrosectomy was required in less than 10%. Dr. Sandeep, how did we actually conceptualize this study? Most experts dealing with EUS guided drainage of pancreatic fluid collections have been managing it differently, either using plastic stent or metal stent. It is generally not clear which one to use when. At Asian Institute of Gastroenterology, when we began draining all pancreatic fluid collection under EUS guidance, we started with plastic stents. But soon we realized that a subset of patients having collections with significant amount of debris often required repeated interventions. And then availability of dedicated self-expandable metal stent meant for pancreatic fluid collection drainage proved to be a game changer. These stents have been variably named as lumen opposing metal stent or bi-flying metal stent available with the name of Axios or Nagi stent. These stents have wide caliber, are short in length up to 3 cm and have wide flanges which makes the drainage procedure very safe and efficient. We also observed that there is a subset of patient of world of necrosis undergoing EUS guide drainage with these metal stents often required further endoscopic interventions. And at this point, we decided to systematically analyze our data, which was prospectively collected over three years. In this study, we discussed about step-up approach. What does it mean? Endoscopic step-up approach is applicable to patients with non-resolved world of, non-resolving world of necrosis after the index drainage procedure who continue to have symptoms and require further endoscopic re-intervention. This basically comprises of three steps. The first being declogging. Second is placement of a nasocystic tube through the previously placed metal stent and irrigating externally using saline and hydrogen peroxide. And the third step is passing a scope inside the cavity and cleaning it up by direct endoscopic necrosectomy. We chose these steps in this sequence keeping in mind the technical challenges of the procedure, its safety and comfort of the patient. Using this algorithm, the endoscopic re-interventions showed an incremental benefit with each step. Is there any rationale behind using which step comes first? Basically, world of necrosis consists of both loose debris and debris adherent to the wall. It is a loose debris within this world of necrosis which first causes metal stent occlusion. That is why in the first step of declogging, this targets the loose debris occluding the stent. Those patients who did not respond to the first step or did not require it in the first go, went to the second step of placement of a nasocystic tube with external irrigation. This was mainly meant to soften the thick adherent debris within the wall of the necrosis. The third step of direct endoscopic necrosectomy was performed through the metal stent 
then being a very labor intensive procedure can be associated with adverse events and hence was reserved as a last step. How does this study add to the current knowledge? There are two main messages from this study. Number one, dedicated metal stents meant for pancreatic fluid collection drainage are effective to drain majority of world of necrosis. Second, endoscopic re-intervention is required only in a subset of patients which can be tackled in a step-up approach manner. And this reduces the overall need for direct endoscopic necrosecty. So how do you foresee the management of world of necrosis in future? I think percentage of solid debris in world of necrosis is a crucial issue in overall clinical outcome. Yes. And there are no accurate methods for this at the moment. We feel that the percentage of debris in context of the total volume may dictate the type of the stent selection and the clinical outcome. For example, a patient with no debris that is a pure pseudocyst is likely to benefit from just plastic stent placement, whereas a patient with mild to moderate debris is likely to benefit by placement of a dedicated metal stent, which not only allows the debris to drain out spontaneously, but also helps us in endoscopic re-intervention if required. A third situation would be a worn with large amount of solid debris where multiple interventions may be required or they can be in a situation of a direct surgical intervention. Having said that, I think there is a need for large multi-center prospective studies with randomization of only inclusion of one which has stratified according to the amount of debris to draw firm conclusions 